We have continuing coverage of the NAACP's push to have Colt Park renamed. As we reported in March, the park is named after businessman E.B. Cole, who donated the land for the park to the city in the late 1800s. A local researcher says she found a document that stated the park would be for white people only. The NAACP has submitted a resolution asking for Cole's name to be stripped from the park. Now another prominent organization has joined their efforts. Devon Taylor broke this story back in March. He joins us in the studio. Devon, which organization is joining this effort? Hey there, Clara. The NAACP has not let up on the name change efforts. They began about three months ago. Now members of the Corpus Christi American Federation of Teachers have added their support to this effort. The NAACP is still waiting to hear from the city of Corpus Christi about their resolution calling for Cole Park to be renamed. Nancy Vera is the president of the Corpus Christi American Federation of Teachers. She hopes to get the ball rolling by supporting the H. Boyd Hall chapter of the NAACP. That's not Corpus Christi. We need to come together. And that's why the Corpus Christi American Federation of Teachers joins with the NAACP to demand that this park be renamed. Dr. Vera and the local NAACP are sending a second resolution to city council. This one not only demands a name change, but it also calls for a historical marker to be placed on the park's property. Dr. Vera says the historical marker would include the backstory of E.B. Cole. I think that's ignorance. I think it's total ignorance because that's what the purpose of the historical marker is to show that it was named after white supremacists because I guarantee you that 95% of the population in Corpus Christi does not know the history of E.B. Cole. Deanna King is the vice president for the H. Boyd Hall chapter of the NAACP and she believes the more people that are involved, the greater the impact will be. AFT to join NAACP and renaming Cole Park, that's a huge thing. Any type of support we can get for this, it It'll be a plus. I mean, it's a thing that we need to do. Despite the park's popularity, Dr. Vera says that the name is a constant reminder of segregation. It's one thing to have a park named Cole Park, right, and have a sign there, that, but it went in lights? A white supremacist name in lights? Come on now. Yeah, and I reached out to the city manager, Peter Zanoni, who says the city is aware of the NAACP's request and they're working through the city council. I also spoke with District 2 Council member Sylvia Campos. She told me the previous resolution has been discussed in executive sessions, and so she wasn't able to tell me much about what they discussed in these meetings. I will continue to follow this story as it makes progress. For now, reporting in the studio, Devon Taylor, Chris 6 News.